My name is Savannah and I'm interviewing Sashella today. We're gonna play a little game. So while we're talking to you today and asking you some questions, you're gonna be looking around for a little cow. His name is Chuck, he's real cute. So make sure you <laughs> glance around for him. And um, yeah, we're gonna get started. First question, what is your name? So my name is Sashella Olivier. And where did you get your degree from, from WGU? I got my degree in IT management, MBA. And where are you from? Originally, I'm from Jamaica, and then I migrated to New York. I'm a military personnel, so I can't really claim anywhere right now, but I currently reside in Georgia. That's amazing. <laughs> How many times do you go back home to Jamaica? I go home annually, so at least once or twice a year, most likely um, from Christmas to New Year's time frame. Is most of your family out there? Yes, 90% of my family is still home in Jamaica. That's awesome. Yes. So have you ever been to any of the parks around Orlando before? I have. I've been to Universal Studios once and SeaWorld, but uh, I think everything else I have to take care of still while I'm here, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and what is your favorite Disney character? I would have to say Mickey. Mickey, the mm -hmm. OG. The OG. <laughs> And what is one recommendation that you would give to first-timers coming to Orlando? One recommendation... Hmm... Let's that one. <laughs> or Jamaica, how about that? Okay, recommendation on Jamaica, just be prepared to have an iry vibe. Everything's iry, no problem. So, always gonna have a good time and good food. Great food. I bet the food yeah. is amazing. <laughs> okay, so what is one thing that you've done for the first time recently? Recently? Ooh, what have I done for the first time recently? Mm. That's a tough question. Oh, for the first time recently, I made homemade chicken tikka masala from scratch. How'd it turn out? <laughs> well, I think my husband should vouch for me. I can't vouch for myself, but I think it turned out great. I mean, if you <laughs> finished it, then we're good. You're good there. <laughs> Okay, what was um, one thing that you needed to be able to study well? I needed peace and alone time. I definitely needed to isolate myself from all the distractions, phones, unfortunately family, friends, definitely had to limit the amount of time I went out. Um, so all of that involved is definitely what I needed to be focused and study, so. That's awesome. What was your favorite class from WGU? My favorite class, ooh. My professor would be so upset. I, I don't recall the exact name of the class, but um, it was something regarding leadership. Um, but it taught me a lot because it, it embraced me to think outside the box and for the safety of our organization. It acts for like, um, pretty much like what kind, of, uh, what kind of contributions I can make as a leader, what threats we had, if we had any insider threats or outsider threats. Um, and I never really thought about that. I would just go to work on a daily, daily basis. So after that class, um, I really thought about everything on a general aspect of our safety at the organization and it made me address some things to our leadership that we fixed as well um, as outsider threats. And on top of that, um, the professor did encourage me um, to reach back out to them once I became a commander in the future. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> that is amazing. I love that. You better fall through with it. <laughs> what good habits did you pick up when you were a student? What good habits? Um, definitely, I thought I knew how to time manage and balance very well prior to starting school, or WGU to be specific. But WGU definitely taught me balance, managing time, and priority a lot more than I thought I did. So, <laughs> have you been able to apply that to your to your life to every day? Certainly, certainly, I have to balance everything every day, and it helps me manage and time manage a lot more better. So, I love that that good discipline, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, have you ever met Sage? Sage, our owl. Oh no, not in person. I don't think. <laughs> All right. Well, if you could, what is one question that you would ask Sage? Maybe tonight. Ah, so I did get attacked by an owl once, right, um, while I was attending WGU actually. <laughs> I was Why? going on a run and I got attacked by an owl. So, and I was kind of, I won't say slacking off, but I wasn't really studying as much as I should have been due to work. Um, but I wanted to know, or I would ask Sage, was that you telling me to get my, my stuff and act together? Like, was that you, Sage? <laughs> 
So get back to session. school right now. <laughs> that is incredible. I love that. <laughs> Did you ever go to school before WGU? Yes, um, of course, all the basic uh, elementary school coming up. And then I also went to Farmingdale, Farmingdale State College in New York, as well as Hofstra University in New York prior to attending uh, WGU. What was that experience like compared to WGU? Um, being honest, it was, more, it was more challenging, and it's not because of the academics itself, but it's because of everything else I was doing involved. I was in the ROTC program, which was physically demanding, as well as it was demanding academically as well. So trying to balance that and trying to actually have fun as a college student um, and every other distractions in the world, <laughs> being younger, um, it, was, it was a bit more challenging. But that was pretty much my experience. <laughs> That's amazing though. It sounded yeah. like this was the right fit then for that. Yeah. <laughs> um, who motivated you to finish your degree? So it was between both my, or all my husband, my mother, and my best friend. Those three main individuals uh, in, uh, motivated me to finish and to get it, so. Those rocks in your life, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what would your younger self think of you today? <laughs> My younger self probably would think that this wouldn't happen or maybe isn't possible or real due to the fact that I wasn't as privileged being younger and um, coming from a third world country, I just never thought this would happen. So yeah, younger me would think this is, this is unreal <laughs> or not possible. And while she's thinking that, what would be your biggest piece of advice to give to that younger self version of you? Biggest piece of advice to give to younger self Definitely always give life your all. Just go for it no matter what. And if you fall, at least you fall trying. So. I love it. Yeah. What comforts you in difficult times? What comforts me, I am a faithful person. So I do uh, look up to God. That's my higher power and um, he comforts me a lot. My husband as well is definitely a strong support system that I have. Uh, and I honestly, I honestly can't thank him enough. Uh, so between those two and of course family, but uh, those two main individuals are really have been my biggest support system, especially in the last two years. I love it. And what has been one of the, your happiest times in life? One of my happiest times in life, when I got married in Jamaica. <laughs> um, that was one of the happiest times of my life. Um, of course, accomplishing this degree was another big and huge moment. Um, that I would say is the happy, was the happiest moment in life and still is, so, yeah. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing that you could do forever and never get bored of? Dance, I love to dance, I love to party. I, I would never get bored of that. <laughs> Favorite music? music? Okay. Uh, I love music as well. Uh, ironically, I am a musician a little bit. Um, I used to write songs and I used to record music as well, so just even listening to music and the art of it, I'd never get tired of listening to music. So. That is incredible. <laughs> what is something that means a lot to you but few people would understand? Would or wouldn't understand? Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Or no, but few people would understand. Would? Yeah. Uh, ooh, think about this one. A lot means a lot to me, so it's, it's hard to, to differentiate. Uh, this one stumps people a lot. <laughs> but I'll, we, we love to hear your answer, so whatever you think of. Okay, um, well, going in a more like personal or deeper shell, inner shell, um, what means a lot to me is family, um, and I don't know if most would understand, but my inner circle of who would understand, I uh, would know that because that was something I lacked and something that I yearn for is just the idea of a functional family um, and creating one of my own, so. That's amazing. I'm so excited for that, for you guys. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate you doing this interview with us. Last question. Were you able to find Chuck the I Cow? I knew you were going to come with this one. <laughs> I was so captivated and focused in on the question. Take, take, a, take a gander. Take a look around. Can you see him? He's, he's pretty small. I think you got a preview of him before.
Well, thank you so much, Estula. This is amazing. We loved having you. Um, and we're excited to see you in your speech tomorrow and tonight at the celebration. So. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your time. <laughs>